an example of an application that can be built on top of our parser. And we use it to navigate the information extracted by our parser. For example, we can import a code base and then uh, navigate the different files, like this one. Uh, we can see the original text, but we can also see the information that is being extracted by the parser, so the element that has been recognized. For example, here we see that we recognize a control statement. Inside that control statement we have a main procedure specification, and inside that main procedure specification we uh, recognize a name. Now, a parser per se recognize that in this case main is just a name, it doesn't understand the meaning of that. But we perform a second step that is called symbol resolution and so we uh, go and find the corresponding declaration. So in this case if I press this I see that the system have recognized that main in this case indicate this procedure. So uh, we have the possibility to extract information and understand at some level the meaning of the different names used. But we can also process the different types to uh, perform a statistical analysis. For example, we can see uh, that uh, we have uh, um, a certain number of reference expression, of expression statement, of integer literals, and if we look at some specific types, for example integer literal, we can also see some statistics of the typical values of uh, these nodes. Uh, in this case we see that the value 1 is the most common and we have 262 instances that are listed here. The second most common value is 10 followed by 0 and so on. Uh, we can also see, for example, that among the figurative constants, no pass and null are the most common, followed by omit, low val, and so on. So uh, we have the possibility of examining the, the frequency uh, with which the different elements are used, and this is very useful, for example, when exploring an existing code base to find which kind of built-in function are more more common in use and this can help for uh, different tasks for example for migrations or also for understanding an existing code base thank you